Hello and welcome back to Up The Villa podcast. Welcome to AVFC Daily News, your daily dose of Aston Villa's news, rumours, links and general chat. As you can see, I am sporting the Against the Odds awareness brand football shirt. Absolutely love it. Great quality. Um, love the shirt. So shout out to Against the Odds. We did record an episode yesterday of our partnership with Against the Odds, background on Against the Odds, their story, their journey. That will be out later on in the week as well. So, you know, I'm excited to bring you that as well and and to just share with you all of the good work and the good work to come from Against the Odds. So, AVFC Daily News, yesterday I've got you all talking tonight. I've got you all chatting about Sancho and your thoughts. And, you know, it was... Really, really good to see everybody offering their thoughts. And it was just a general question from myself of a player that I see for a fee and a player in an area that Aston Villa potentially could be looking to bring. So, you know, I'm all about starting a conversation and letting you guys just run with it and, and do your thing, really. So shout out everybody who commented yesterday. But I have some good, good news. Unai. Monchi, I'm on my knees. Get the deal done. Right, let's talk Pau Torres. It hasn't gone away and it's not going away. Reading between everything that's happened so far in this window, the rumours, the rumours of where they've cut, where they've cut, came and gone and come back and noise from Spain, journalists, local journalists, we're in for Pau Torres. You know, there's, there's a couple of rumours that we've had where you're like, I can't really see. Like the Kiaz one again, journalist yesterday still popping up that Villa were prepared to pay 70 million. I'm not sure that is correct. But maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But the Pau Torres one has the vibe of like a transfer negotiations back and forth, back and forth. Links will offer what we think. We'll walk away. We'll come back. We will. We will come back when you've thought about it. It's got that vibe. There's just this pattern of like Pau Torres noise. Couple of days, then a bit of noise, then a couple of days. And now my understanding of, of where I think it's all been at with Pau Torres is he's been very interesting in Aston Villa, but he's also been had links through his age, possibly, with, say, Bayern Munich. And I think because he's had links with Bayern Munich, he's probably thought, actually, you know what? Like, Bayern Munich might be coming in for me. I don't think anything's come of that. So I think the one that's standing right in front of him with a sledgehammer hammering down the uh, boundaries is Aston Villa. And I think we're still there. We're still persistent on getting the deal done. And I think because Pau possibly hasn't got anything else going on, he's all in on Villa now. Now, that's that's my vibe. That's my vibe on it. Now, some noise has come out last night from the local Villarreal reporter on a, on a podcast called Revoluters. And this is what was said by the local Villarreal um, journalist. And I think sometimes it's really important to get the aspect from the local journalist. And because for a lot of these Spanish, Italian, French clubs, they're on the money. That, that It's a little bit different to how it works w w in England. So this is what was said. I think Pau Torres is going to Aston Villa unless any other, unless another quick club comes and convinces him I don't see it likely. Aston Villa has acted hard and fast, and that will be enough. I think 70% right now, Pau Torres is very close to Aston Villa. And that's coming from Javi uh, Magmata, who is a Villarreal reporter, journalist. And that's coming from Villarreal side of things now. And he said, we're 70% there. That is absolutely massive. That is huge. And it... Again, in that quote, like what my thought process was, unless another big club comes in, such as Bayern Munich, 
I think we're going to get him. I think he's ours. I think they also went on to say on this podcast that, but right now, I think that Powers decided to leave and Emery is very insistent and Monchi is very insistent. Monchi and Emery are two of the most winning men in Spanish football in recent times. So I'm absolutely buzzing about this. I, I, for me, Pat, you you know how much I love Pablo Torres playing out from the back. You know, you know I love his profile. You know what? You know I'm a big, big Pablo Torres fan. This feels very big to me. This feels very, very important signing because it feels like we get in, and I'm probably going to say this, and I think I think it's probably right. This feels like our sort of marquee, if that makes sense, in LSW. And although it's a defender and although it's a centre-back, this is our like breakthrough transfer, I think, if this comes off. Because he's in his prime career, right? Prime, prime age. Prime career, one of the most sought-after centre-backs in European football, and he's chose to come to Aston Villa. Now, that would be absolutely huge. We had it with Coutinho, but Coutinho was sort of like past his peak, peak Coutinho, wasn't he? But Paolo Torres is at, is, is at the forefront of his game, so it's absolutely huge. And I thought this the other day, and then um, I, I had... Um, I had a comment on Twitter and uh, he, he basically said exactly the same thing. Alan, Alan said exactly the same thing. I've been thinking that this is our sort of, and I, I, don't, I know you're going to moan that I'm, I'm comparing us to Newcastle, but this is sort of our like Botman signing where we get in that like centre back in who's really sought after. And then the next ones just follow. Like, the next transfers just follow. Because, like I keep saying, we don't have to sell ourselves anymore. I don't think we are having to do that. But once you get a, a Pau Torres in the door, everybody's like, Pau Torres, come to Villa. That, you get that moment. And then the next one, don't need no convincing. Because they're like, oh, have you signed so far? Pau Torres. Like, it's absolutely huge. So, yeah, absolutely massive. I, I have mentioned numerous times about where Pau Torres will play, what me, what it means for the other defenders. So I'm not going to keep going over that because I, I, I don't want to keep repeating myself. So if you want more Pau Torres content, go back and watch the Transfer Hub and Pau Torres uh, that we did and, and we'll talk about his player profile, we'll break it down, etc. So apparently, Pau Torres... Getting very, very close. In other news, Percy at the back post mentioned yesterday about Harvey Barnes. So he, he wrote an article on James Madison going to Spurs. That's going to happen quickly, apparently. But he also mentioned that Newcastle, it's the same teams all the time now. Newcastle, I think he mentioned Spurs and he mentioned Villa. We're in for Harvey Barnes. Now, we knew that we would be linked with a lot of players that Newcastle are linked with. But is it now that we've like dragged Spurs into our into our transfer targets? And I think that's a testament to where we are and where we're at. Like it was only a couple of seasons ago that we were competing with the likes of I don't know, Southampton, Everton. And Wolves, you know, we were, every Villa player was linked with one of... But now every player is linked with a Newcastle player, a Spurs player, you know. So that shows where we shop in. You know, you're looking at Newcastle and Spurs. Yes, Newcastle got top four, but they're not established top four yet. We're not established European team yet. And Spurs were an established Champions League team who are now... Out of Europe completely. So that shows where we're at in my head. So Harvey Barnes still a target. So we'll have to see where that one's going. If I had to hedge my bet, I, I don't see him going Newcastle. 
Spurs have already paid for him and Madison, but would they go in for, for Barnes as well? I'm not sure. So maybe this could be a Villa one. In other news, Johan Lang apparently was spotted at the Spurs stadium yesterday. This is coming from We Are Tottenham TV, a Tottenham fan channel. So if that has any legs in it, then I would imagine that he's looking at Lo Celso and trying to do a deal with Lo Celso. Uh, and then yesterday it did come out that Aston Villa were trying to strike a deal with Power Torres for £35 million. Pounds. So we've already sort of got into that. We've had the Villarreal journalist aspect side of things. So nice little episode for you today. I potentially might be back later on. Depends on if there is any news or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, enjoy the content. Comment your thoughts. Enjoy it. Embrace it. Up the Pantores. Up the Villarreal.